All right, so today I'm going to show you how you can use Lightroom to create mock-ups for your clients, especially those in the brand photography world. So um, I have some images from a client session here that I'm going to use. I just have them in the quick selections or the quick um, collections folder so that I can move them around. The key here is that you want to be able to drag and drop your images um, in a specific order. So you want to be able to put them into a collection. If they're in the regular folder, they're not going to be movable like this. So you want to first make sure you pick the images you want and put them into a collection. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to go to the print module. And I have a couple different grids that I'm going to use, but I'm going to show you this one here because I think it's really fun. Um, it's a fun way to show the story from your session in a way that inspires them to use these images on social. So what we ultimately want to do is rearrange these so that it looks aesthetically pleasing. Um, and the way this template works is it does go in the order from left to right. So it's going to pick up any image that you start with and then it's going to do um, put, place the images in order from left to right. So if I went to click on this one now, like if I wanted that, this image in this square, it's not going to happen if I click that now. It's going to, again, go left to right. So that's why it's important to be able to rearrange your photos because you want to make sure that you're going left to right to place them in a order like kind of like you're reading a book here. Okay, so for me, I generally like to alternate tones um, in my grids because I think it gives a nice pattern. Um, and also sometimes I like to alternate what is in the content of the image. Sometimes for my branding clients, I have just like detail shots. Sometimes I've got the headshots where they're looking right at the camera. And then sometimes I have like these action shot types. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start playing around with what I think is best and we're going to see how that looks. So I know I definitely want like to alternate the tones and the image types. So like right now she's looking away, she's looking away, looking away. So maybe I want to do like one of these and then throw in like a detail shot that's a different tone. This is very light and bright and, and white. So maybe I throw in that one. And then maybe we do another light photo to contrast this one here. Let's see how that would work. So maybe we would do a photo like this one. And this one's a headshot, so it's a little bit different. So we could do that looks good starting out. And then I want to alternate. So this one would be like another detail shot or something different. Um, this client is a realtor, so space is really important to her. So maybe if we had a picture of that space, and then alternating to like a darker tone. I kind of like this one. It's got a lot of color. And then we want to then go back to like a lighter tone. And this one, she's looking away. So maybe we do one where she's um, either looking a little bit closer to the camera or looking at the camera. Um, this one is pretty light and bright. Let's do, you know what? I think I want to do this one, even though she's not looking at the camera. I want to do that one. So let's see how that's looking. And to hold, to grab them all, I just hold down shift. So that's looking pretty good here. You know what I'm realizing though, is that these are too light and this is like a darker tone. So, and this is still pretty light. So you know what, I'm going to actually swap out this image and this image for like a darker tone one. So maybe if we did she started, I'm just going to kind of move this guy out of the way. And then for this one, I'm going to move this guy out of the way. And then maybe we have like this family portrait one. Let's see how that's looking. And all you do to like rearrange it is just to drag that down. I'm liking it, but I'm still not sure there's enough contrast between these two. So I'm going to again just kind of drag that guy away. I'm going to bring in this image. Okay, so this is looking more along the lines of where I want. We've got some lighter tones, some darker tones, a mix of looking, action, 
like looking at the camera and action shots. I'm going to pull this one up. There we go. Okay, so now we want to do like a darker tone image here, darker one here. So we are going to, let's do maybe, let's grab this one. And then we need to do like a lighter tone. I like this action shot here for like lighting the candle. And then we're going to do like another darker tone. And let's do, kind of pull through here. Ooh, this one's different. We haven't used this outfit yet. Let's see how that looks. So you just kind of drag it over. It would be right. So let's see how that's looking. All right, so I don't like how there's not enough color contrast between these, but I do like how there's like orange up there. So maybe if I grab another one of her in her orange outfit. So let's do that. And by the way, guys, this Lightroom print template is linked up in the comments. So if you want to purchase this link, this Lightroom template and install it, super easy. You do need Lightroom Classic to do it. Um, okay, so I'm going to do another light photo. Let's do, we haven't done this outfit yet. So let's do one where she's looking at the camera. And then let's do a darker tone outfit, darker tone, let's see. I think I like this one kind of has a lot of darker tones. Let's see how that could look. And then we're going to do maybe this one. Let's see how that do I actually think that works. I am going to yeah, let's see. Let's keep going with that. One thing you'll notice, and I haven't figured out how, how to change it, is sometimes the color gets a little like washed out in this preview. So all you want to do is print to file, and you'll be able to see it. And I'll show you guys how that looks. Um, okay, so we want to do darker tone here. So maybe we do like this one here. Yeah, I like that. And then actually, let's do. A lighter one but I think we want to do like a different outfit than this white top so maybe we do oh you know what maybe we just do a space yeah like this tub it's pretty awesome or actually you know what there is a bedroom shot here okay and all I'm doing is holding command and then like once I know like I want to put that image there, what I can do is I can just like drag it over. All right, so that's looking good. Now I need another darker tone image. Let's do maybe her and her husband. She could introduce her husband. Ooh, I like the way that looks. So we're gonna drag that over. All right, so we did that and that. Okay, now I think I want to bring in that orange tone again. So I'm going to find another orange shirt one. And let's do, I like the one with her in the wine. Be really cute to work with. All right, so let's do this. Let's see how that looks. Love it. And then actually, I do kind of like this lighter image. Oh, you know what? We actually need a light image here. So what if we swap this one, get this one out? What if we did that? And then one last lighter image Ooh, let's do one of hers like yes 
Okay. I love the way this looks. It looks fantastic. So now the last thing we have to do is print to size. So now that you have your print, which looks amazing, we took it from there. Um, I'm going to show you one other thing you can do to showcase um, the possibilities for your client and further tell telling that story. And that is by creating a simple mock-up in Canva, which I'm sure some of you have already done. So you may not even be interested in this next part, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what um, what you can do. So I'm going to switch over to my browser here. I've already uploaded the image here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to element and I'm going to do what smart mockups, I think here. And actually let's do, that's not what I want. So what I want to do Actually, maybe it is what I want. And then I'm going to just grab a font. iPhone, iPhone mockup. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these. You do need the pro version for some of these actually. So um, let me see if I can find a free one. This one said it was free. Let's see if that will work. So, and then we're going to take our image. And because this isn't a smart mock up, actually, it's not really what I want to do. So, we're going to go ahead and. Oh, you know what we do? Sorry, guys. I think I would already know what to do. So, you're just going to drag this over here. And you're going to go to edit image and you're going to do smart mockups. And this is where we want to, we're going to do iPhone or phone 19. And what it's going to do is it's just going to do that. And so that is one way that you can further showcase what this could look like. It's not an exact Instagram screenshot, but it gives your clients the idea. So again, you can head to the brand photographer method.com and grab this Lightroom print template for yourself. So it's easy for you to install and ready to go. If you have questions or comments, post them in the comment section.